Hello, uh, welcome to my latest time lapse video. It's uh, an oil painting again. This time, though, it's uh, a competition entry. There's a Facebook group I belong to, and uh, they supplied this reference photo, and I've uh, created this from it. So, uh, not to waste too much time, let's uh, get straight on to the video. Right, uh, as before, the first task is to get rid of the white of the board. And to do that, you basically paint a very crude version of, of it in mid-tones only. You can do this in acrylics or oils, as the uh, none of this, or very little of this, will be showing at the end of it. It does give you a very good idea of um, how the thing's going to look. I have started there um, with the second stage, which is painting the, the sky in oils. And the um, technique here is to pick out the colours from the reference photo and just crudely put them down then use uh, some sort of a uh, blending brush to merge it all together I've got brushes specially made for the job but for some reason they uh, shed their hairs really badly I don't know what it is about uh, these uh, artists brushes to do this so instead I've got a makeup brush to do the blending you can just see it there it's a great big fat are they called blusher brushes I'm not sure but for some reason they're cheaper and better quality with the sky done I'm starting on the trees and uh, the technique here is using a small flat brush I'm putting each individual leaf down by just touching the uh, the edge of the brush to the board a very gentle touch is needed I'm mostly going for the darker areas first. Probably um, twenty, about a quarter dark. The the uh, the darkest darks will be left to last. I'm just um, just getting a feel for the uh, this bank of trees. Joining now with um, some of the highlights, and you you can start to see the the form of these uh, trees coming through. I will go backwards and forwards quite a lot of times before I'm happy. I'm paying close attention to the reference photo and trying to match the colours as best as possible. Here I'm just uh, putting some of the branches and trunks in, the, the odd bits you can see, and then bending them down with some more leaves over the top. It 
it really comes to life when you uh, put the, hi the highlights on. Now this um, bank of trees in the distance, in the reference photo, it was very dark. But I believe that's um, something the photography tends to do. Whereas in real life, things in the distance are more misty. They've got more atmosphere through them. Now I'm painting what I believe to be um, a large bank of reeds. I think that's what they are. I'm not entirely sure. There's a subtle curve to these reeds and um, it's quite tricky to get it with uh, just just painting the uh, the lines. You often see me uh, suddenly going off and do something else apart something else around the painting. It's uh, usually because I've seen something and I've got a suitable colour on the brush, so I just uh, pull it in. Right, um, now we're basically uh, painting the scene again. Keeping in mind that uh, reflections tend to uh, tend to be darker than what they're reflecting. Wherever there's a highlight in the top part, I'm trying to match it with a highlight in, in the reflection. It all helps to uh, make the uh, illusion m more believable. Well, you can see there, I wasn't totally happy with what I was doing, so I I washed some thinners over the whole thing to sort of merge it all together and start again, well nearly start again. Now what I've got to do here is uh, draw the mirror image of the scene above but um, do it in sort of dashes to simulate the ripples. And I'm finding a combination of the, the flat brush that I've used almost everywhere and a small rigger to do this. starting to get to the stage where it's uh, difficult to know when to stop. 
I could do these squiggles in this reflection forever. But there comes a time where it's uh, diminishing returns. The camera just went to the sky there as I just as I decided to put a little bit of the colour I was using in the reflection in the sky just to uniform it. And uh, there we have it. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. If you'd like to see more and um, keep not notified, uh, please like and subscribe and hit that notification button. Thank you for watching.